It's late at night, a great time for such a fright. The lights are out. I'm trembling, for goodness sake. The game is set. It's Resident Evil Remake. Resident Evil. We're going in hardcore. Classic tank controls. Hard. Jill Valentine kind of eases the sting a little bit. You know, it might be because I'm a, a ladies' lady, but uh, I love Jill. She's fantastic. She's also got uh, the assistance of one of her teammates, whereas Chris tends to go in uh, uh, solo. Um, and uh, when I was futzing around, I, I learned that this is an option. Uh, this is the, uh, the the costume that she wore in Resident Evil Revelations, I believe. Um, we also saw a bit of it in uh, Resident Evil 5 in the, the flashback DLC that uh, is very similar to taking it back to this game. Very similar. I can see why they wanted to put this in. But uh, I have to enjoy classic Jill. Um, and those shoulder pads, those shoulder pads will actually come in real handy. I mean, look where they are. If you're, if you're thinking about how a zombie's going to bite you on the shoulders and the neck, she's got at least 50% coverage. Like, is that Kevlar? It better be, because zombies, not going to get through that. We're going to need those shoulder pads. It's perfect. Oh, there is a problem. I'll get into it in a bit. Has to do with the cutscenes. You'll see. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. You haven't found it yet? No. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. way.
There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Dining room. So if I was kind, I gave a sample of what I'm dealing with, and then I edited out the rest in post. Oh yeah, we'll have an ink ribbon. Uh, and that's really only if I was kind. Um, I the 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 cutscenes are all out of sync. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Yeah, you better, uh, you better start that floor some more. I want to give that a little taste. See if it's actually blood. Might be spaghetti sauce. Or jam. Yeah, uh, for whatever reason, uh, I'm sure Capcom, uh, the, the cutscenes are out of sync, although it seems that the, the, the in-game renderings are working just fine, which is great. I don't want to fix everything in post. Hell yeah. There seems to be a little bit of uh, a problem with the game. Don't know why. I've done what I can to fix it, it was settings and all. And you might notice some texture issues, some maybe vertical, vertical sinking things. These are just quality of life changes I had to make in order to get the game to run a little bit smoother. The, uh, the, the sinking problems maybe less... Uh, drastic. And that is a real problem. That is worse than a stalemate. That is a no one walks away from that. Picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of another. Yeah, that is a... Uh, everyone goes home in a box. Resident Evil and I go way back. Back to the original. Hey, door! It was basically with the original that I realized I love scary games. Freaky dicky, run away! Oh. We're Jill, we have friends. We have friends with really big guns. Barry! What is it? Look out, it's a monster! Ugh. Let me take care of it! Yeah, Barry. In the head, Barry. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. 
Oh yeah, that's a problem. At least he had the kind decency to close the door behind him. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Classic Resident Evil? This, this whole... Oh, the, the nostalgia. I, I played back on the PlayStation 1, uh, where this was basically the game you went to if you wanted a, a scary experience. Uh, well, I say this game, but I mean the, you know, the original uh, janky voice acting and whatnot. And I've been thinking about if I ever did Let's Play is that I would uh, I do the remake at some point. Uh, I tried to show my girlfriend this game but uh, she's not really into video gaming too much. Barry, I think I've got everything. Anything down here? Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker! There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. <laughs> You'd make better use of it. What I don't like is they left out some of the golden lines of the past. Jill is the master of unlocking. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. One thing I really loved about this game is that they added so much to it without taking away from what was already there. Like this? Ooh, shivers. Yeah, this wasn't in the original, not even in the director's cut. It got cut. Knock knock. She got in. Oh, oh. yes. Oh. Well, fuck. <laughs> in the original, uh, you would open the door and the dog would be like rawr, 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 rawr. and then Jill would close it and be like, oh, that's a really bad idea. I'm not going to ever do that again. Um, turns out we should have taken that cue from Wesker after all. If you are unfamiliar with the Resident Evil franchise, Wesker is the, uh, the dapper gentleman in, or I say dapper, but the, uh, the man with the sunglasses, uh, at night, yes. And Barry is the man with the very large gun. Yeah, let's not fuck with that. Oh, looks like we're fucking with that. Nope, nope. Ha! We have a knife. 
helps us conserve on ammo. About face. Now we're not gonna do this for everyone, but I do want to be mindful. First kills are special. Ooh, I got an achievement. It's locked. Emblem of armor is carved into the lock. Yeah, this is what. This is the beginning of uh, just the weirdest locking systems in Resident Evil. F in Resident Evil, it began at this mansion. It's locked. An emblem of a sword. Yeah, to get around this mansion, you'd have to unlock so many puzzles just to get the key to get to the kitchen. God forbid you ever needed to take a leak. You need to, like, fight a giant snake just to get the sword key or whatever. Oh, Kenneth. You have any any bullets on you, Kenneth? It looks like he's holding something. A film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. The corpse here comes from Kenneth. It looks like his throat's been torn out. I seem to remember at some point getting bullets, but I guess not not in the remake. How many bullets do I have? Four. That's not even a fully dead zombie. That means I definitely have to use my knife against the next zombie we meet. Oh boy. <gasps> Bullets. Yeah, handgun magazine. The original Resident Evil. Oh. Hi. There's a corpse clapped on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Because we got chomped on a little bit, I think I'm gonna want to take one. Let's see, we took the emblem. I don't know if that was a good idea. Yeah, we'll take one. Because we did get chomped on a little bit. And in the original Resident Evil, they called they called the, the ammo pickups for the pistol clips. So I'm going to make that slip up every so often. I'm gonna call it a clip, but in your head, uh, just dub in magazine for me. I do not mean to error, but I, I do. Oh. Are you, are you dead dead? Oh. Ah, shit. Oh, that's right. I do have more bullets. There's another one? Where was that him? Oh, Jesus. Ammo in this game is so scarce. It's locked in the side. Oh man, this game is a masterclass of terror. Like, I'm already feeling the tension. I'm sure everything will go go well with no incident whatsoever. <sighs> Moment to breathe. Green arrow. I guess so. 
Lord knows I don't want to come back in here. <gasps> Ammo! Oh shit, I saw it in the mirror. I saw it in the mirror! We're just going to skulk away. Now, if I remember correctly, we're near a door. Oh. I'll, I'll get into defensive items another time, but uh, if you get grabbed, you, you have a quick out if you need it. Let's see. Yeah, he's standing in front of a door. Let me check the one back here, just uh, just so I cover my options. Oh, that reflection spooked me. I thought it was another zombie. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna gun it. We're going to gun it and uh, try to blitz past this guy. Hooey! We did it. We unlocked it. I don't even know where the other door goes. Don't care. Now's not the time for caring. Oh, yes. I want nothing to do with that. Oh, you're over there. Okay, I can deal with that. Whoop. Speaking of the devil. That is a defensive item. Um... Yeah, if I get grabbed, I basically use defensive item to uh, stagger them back so I preserve my health some and do some damage. Uh, it is set to automatic by default. I have turned that off. Because sometimes I am willing to take a hit. Now I knew about this from the original. It's. Just a part of the Spencer Mansion kerfuffle. Push statues, collect gems, wreak havoc. I'm sure it's a priceless uh, item, but we're in a survival situation. What's more priceless than that statue? Our lives. if I even want to collect it on account of uh, we are down to oh jeez we are down to one free space in our inventory and item management is just as important as bullet management so we're going to diversify our directions helmet oh god Jill, you're magnificent. Let's go. Such suspense. What could be lurking around the corner here? Ooh. Hello, statue. Damn, she's got a great tush. I, the statue, I mean. Woman drawing water. Hmm. Just gonna scooch that aside a smidge. Just, just a smidge. Just a, just a smidge. No, nope, no, that's too much of a smidge. We're just gonna come around. Puzzles, eh? Gotta work them out. What's this? Map of the mansion, first floor. Take it. Hills to the yes. Cool. You got the map mansion of the first floor. You got the mansion of the first floor. Whatever. I'll take it. An old photograph sits in a frame. Maybe this person was connected to the mansion somehow. Let's see. Open door? Closed door? 
Open door? Closed door. <sighs> Definitely. And then... Ah, oh, no! The spooks! Ah. No, your hair's all greasy! Ugh, piss. Run away! Oh, no. I need the sword key. I thought that was just a Chris thing. Yeah, that's one zombie I do not mind running away from. Hmm, I'm curious. Let me check something. Zombie's totally still there. Haha, uh -huh, zombie is totally still trapped. Yeah. Uh, puzzles reset if you leave a room, so... Sucker! <laughs> oh. He's come to say hi! Hi! How you doing? So it was nice to meet you. I did not appreciate the kiss. Goodbye! He was nice. A little too over-affectionate. He's a nibbler. I don't go in for nibblers. Well, that's not entirely true. Where to next? Huh. Well, let's consult the equipment. And we picked this up and there was a little thing that showed up that was like, hey, you can examine stuff. Oh, how, how nice. You can zoom in. Ooh. It seriously looks like a fantasy arrow, like dragon slang or something like that, or something you'd find in Skyrim with a, it's got the glass tip. Arrowhead looks like it could be removed. Well, now it is no longer priceless. Made from fairy dot, sometimes referred to as poor man's emerald. Well, you gotta get your bling somewhere. What's going on here? Emblem. It's gold all along the outer edge due to frequent fitting. Ah. Am I in the red or the orange? That's so hard to tell, but let's... Uh-huh, okay. I think we were... we were in hurting. We were... we were hurting. I think in this case... Oh, I forgot about this. This wasn't in the original. Ew. They're so squishy! Ugh. Bolt! Oh! Come on, man! Control yourself. A tome engraved with the picture uh, of an angel. Gully, I wonder what goes here. It's an indentation. Yeah. Uh, could it be, uh, this ink ribbon? Nailed it. Nope, not gonna fuck with that. It's gonna slow down a smidge. I hear heavy machinery. From like... I don't know, the 5th century? Right, 
that's all right for now. A stone statue with a hole where the eyes should be. A stone statue with holes where the eyes, nose, and a mouth should be. A stone statue with a hole where the nose should be. Stone statue with a hole where the mouth should be. So we have seek no evil, smell no evil, uh, sense no evil, see no evil. Resident Evil. Smash cut the credits! Well, that's a load of fuck no right there. The book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. The Book of Curses? I suppose so. Huh, I rather expected chaos to ensue. Examine. Ah. Where's the key embedded? Oh shit, yeah, I will. You got the mansion key. Book of Curses. Four masks. A mask that speaks no evil, smells no evil, sees no evil, and cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four masks fall into place, evil will awaken. Huh. What do we have? Sword key! So we can access that door in the room with the trapped zombie. It's time to rise from the grave.